Well, here we are back harvesting at Overbury Farms on Tuesday the 14th of August and uh, it's harvest log day 15. A uh, bit of a different view today, I'm in the bulk shed. This is bulk shed number three, uh, which is where the gallant winter wheat is um, going into long-term storage. So there's the conveyor belt at the top there. That delivers the grain from the plant, just sort of drops down onto the top. And then we've got these pedestals here, uh, which are, are fixed <coughs> with these little wire cables. They go right up to the top and there'll be a fan that we'll stick on the top of there when, uh, when the shed's full. And that fan will then start to suck the air out of the grain with a view to trying to cool it down. If we can get it down to about 10 degrees by Christmas, and then we'll try and aim to get sort of down to six degrees um, in for long-term storage. And that makes sure if there's any bugs in here, then um, they won't be able to breed uh, less than te uh, 10, de 10 degrees, and uh, it'll kill them off if it gets down to six. So that's the long-term plan. Um, as I said, this is Gallant that's coming in here. Um, and uh, it's been through the cleaner. Uh, in the grain store, which has improved the quality a little bit. Uh, the bushel weight, which is the, the amount of uh, the, the weight that goes into a hectolitre volume um, off the combine is about 68, uh, 66, something like that. And by the time it's been through the cleaner, it, we can get it up to about 73, 74. Um, and for grade one uh, milling wheat, it needs to have a specific weight of over 74. So. Uh, we'll have to market this a little bit carefully. Um, anything less than 74 we're putting in this shed, anything above we're putting in a different shed. So it's important to try and keep it all separate because um, they will have different values to it. Um, that little pile over there is a bit of wheat left over from last year's harvest. Uh, still gallant. And um, I've just got a demonstration here of the difference in the grain quality from the two harvests. So this is harvest 2012, so that's quite a pinched sample. Uh, it's sort of faded a little bit. Um, and then if we go across here, it's a much brighter, much bolder sample. Um, and uh, had much better grain fill last year. So with all the wet weather we've had, it certainly had an impact on the grain quality and also the volume. If the weight's not there, then um, you know, even if you've got all the grains, if they weigh less, then obviously that's less yield. So we'll have an indication a bit more on yield as we go on, but those are the two different uh, harvest qualities. So we will uh, we'll endeavour to press on, and hopefully by the time you come back to this shed in a few days' time, it will be getting rather full.